twisted true story. I had been working for Popeye's Chicken for over a year, and I was promoted to night manager. It was my first night on the job, and we had just launched our new line of chicken nuggets that everyone was talking about. There were only two of us working that night, me and the new guy. The clock read 10.02 when in walked a very large man approaching the counter. He looked like he was straight out of the Sopranos or something. Welcome to Popeye's Chicken. What can I get for you tonight? I said. I'll take one order of chicken nuggets over here. He said in a mafia tone. Coming right up, sir, I said as I told the new guy to prepare his order. Ten minutes later, his food was ready. So I picked up his tray and carried it over to him. But before I could reach the counter, I slipped and fell on my ass as the chicken nuggets scattered all over the floor. What the fuck? He said angrily. I'm so sorry, sir. I'll make more in a jiffy, I said. You better make it snappy. I'm getting impatient over here, he said as I ordered the new guy to make more. But the new guy came back with bad news. It was the last batch of chicken nuggets that fell on the floor, and I knew the customer would not be thrilled. So I walked back to the counter and said, I'm so sorry, sir, but those were the last chicken nuggets for the night and we won't get another shipment in until the morning, I said regretfully. Let me get this straight. You dropped my fucking chicken nuggets and now you're telling me there ain't no more? You better get some more chicken fucking nuggets or I'm gonna fill your face with bullet holes, he said angrily. Then he pulled out a gun bigger than Jeff Bezos' bank account. I was two seconds away from pooping my pants and I felt as if I was about to have a panic attack. I yelled for the new guy, but all I heard was the sounds of running then the back door opening, then closing. This asshole left me there alone with the most scariest guy on the planet. You got three seconds to get on that phone and order some more stinking chicken nuggets or your dead meat. You got that, son? He said as I quickly grabbed the phone and dialed the store manager, who unfortunately didn't pick up. I'm so sorry, sir. He's not answering. What can I do to make this right? I cried. Then he started yelling at the top of his lungs when all of a sudden he fell to the floor and he wasn't breathing. Do to all of the bad foods that he had eaten throughout the years, not to mention his anger issues. His blood pressure skyrocketed, giving the guy a heart attack. Usually, I never wish death upon anyone, but this man was more annoying than Logan and Jake Paul. Give me some more fucking chicken nuggets over here. 